Now, three major wildfires in Southern California's mountains east of Los Angeles have torched dozens of homes and forced thousands of people to evacuate there. At least a dozen people, mainly firefighters, treated for injuries that were mostly heat-related. The wildfires continuing to endanger tens of thousands of homes as they uh, sprung up during a triple-digit heat wave over the weekend. Well, let's hear from a correspondent, Wasim Corne, in Los Angeles. This is a situation that is rarely seen here in Southern California. Three major fires burning close to Los Angeles. That has led the governor of this state, Gavin Newsom, to declare a state of emergency in four counties to facilitate the deployment of emergency personnel in the response to these fires. 6,000 emergency personnel are currently deployed. That includes 500 fire engines and dozens of aircraft. Let's start with the good news. The so-called line fire, which is burning east of Los Angeles, is now 18 percent contained. And whenever we see numbers between over 10 or 15 percent, that means that firefighters are gaining the upper hand and will be able to extinguish the fire unless we see a major deterioration in weather conditions. And that is the other bit of good news is that uh, these three fires really erupted at the tail end of a severe week-long heat wave here in Southern California. Temperatures are now currently dropping dramatically and they're forecast to stay below average over the next couple of weeks. And that should really, of course, help firefighters in their efforts. But unfortunately, there is a lot of bad news. We've already seen 445 square kilometers of vegetation go up in flames. Uh, we've already seen dozens of people, uh, dozens of homes uh, lost, dozen people injured. And there are still at this hour tens of thousands of people that are, are currently under an evacuation order. Unfortunately, the winds that have really uh, led these three fires to explode over these past few days will continue gusting at least over the next 24 hours.